Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy Darley. If you're new, then welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Today's video is going to be an extreme clean with me. So I've got lots and lots of cleaning motivation. I'm also taking down our Halloween and fall decor and I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I'm storing it this year. And I also got some new tubs in, so I'll share all of that stuff with you. I'm also gonna be sharing a grocery haul in this video and a super easy crock pot meal that we really, really love. And if you missed last week's video, I also shared a crock pot meal in that video and you guys seem to love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and that it gives you tons of motivation to get some things checked off of your to-do list today. All right guys, so this is my to-do list for today. Last week I shared with you my to-do list and a lot of you seem to enjoy seeing that at the beginning. So you kind of see what's coming, but I am gonna be tidying up downstairs. I need to go pick up groceries today, start a crock pot meal. I shared a crock pot meal last week too, so go check out that meal, it was so good. Um, and then I need to clean and declutter the playroom. Y'all, when you see this playroom, you are going to be so surprised at how dirty it is. It's such a mess. Um, and then I'm also going to be decluttering it. Make candy bags. I'm going to probably do that with the kids after they get home from school. And then I have some laundry to do because we have laundry all the time. It's never ending. All right, so to start this to-do list off, I am back from picking up my groceries. I'm going to share a quick grocery haul with you. And then I'm going to put these groceries away and start the cleanup. All right, I am going to do a really quick grocery haul. Um, I shared with you guys in my last video our meals for the week. And just in case you missed that video or you need a little reminder, this is our weekly menu for this week. It is already Tuesday. So yesterday we had chicken on top of a salad. So we just did a rotisserie chicken, some veggies on top of a salad. Tuesday is crock pot barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I'm gonna throw that in the crock pot in just a few minutes. Wednesday is crock pot lasagna. Thursday, crock pot meatballs and rice. And as you can see, our crock pot meals are like saving us so much during the week because we have so many things after school that we are doing. Um, Friday is pizza. And then Saturday we have a Halloween party that we're going to. And then on Sunday, we're gonna do crock pot sausage and potato casserole. So. I will show you our grocery haul now. All right, so starting over here, I've got some triple zero Greek yogurt. This is the strawberry flavor. They have lots of different flavors, but this one's my favorite. And then also the mixed berry. I got a couple things of muffin mix because we like to keep these on hand. I always make these for the kids on Monday. So I got wild berry and chocolate chip. Chocolate chip is their favorite. I also got a bunch of Lunchables. My kids like to eat these as snacks sometimes, and then every now and then they will take them for lunch. It just kind of depends on what they're serving at school, but um, sometimes they beg for these to have them at lunch, and so I will occasionally give them to them. All right, and then I always make sure to have canned chicken. Cholula hot sauce. This is the green pepper flavor. If you love spicy, this is awesome. I've been out of this for a while and have actually been searching and every time I do grocery pickup, I try to find it and they never have it. I even looked on Amazon and couldn't find it, but this time they had some. I probably should have gotten a couple because who knows if they'll be out of this for a while again. I always look at Publix. I look at Kroger. I look everywhere for this stuff and haven't been able to find it in months. So I finally got some of that. I'll move right here. I got some provolone cheese and some turkey for sandwiches. And then tonight we're having the barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I got a huge thing of barbecue sauce, some buns, and then we're gonna do some sweet potato fries in the air fryer for that. Um, another thing that I have been eating a ton of lately and I've shared are the homemade egg McMuffins. These are the English muffins. I get the 100 calorie light multigrain ones and I just throw an egg or sometimes I'll do egg whites and then like a um, laughing cow cheese wedge with it. Even some Bolt House, the honey chipotle, I think it's honey barbecue ranch. I don't remember. But anyways, these are really, really good, low in fat, better for you than McDonald's ones, but McDonald's ones aren't bad either. So I got the kids some more granola bars. And then for our crock pot lasagna, I've got ground beef, 
I got some mozzarella cheese, tomato sauce. We already had marinara sauce, so I didn't have to get that. Ricotta cheese, Parmesan cheese, lasagna noodles, and I think that was it for the lasagna. I got the kids some more cosmic brownies. We've never run out of those. And then for the potato soup that we're doing, or potato casserole, I guess, in the crock pot, we've got cheddar cheese soup, evaporated milk, some kibasa, an onion, green onion, and hash browns. So the shredded hash browns. These are the only shredded hash browns I could find. So hopefully they're good. I've never had the great value come before, but then I got lots of candy for Halloween. Some of these actually are mine. So <laughs> the Take 5 Reese's, you guys know, I love me some Reese's and the Take 5's are actually my favorite. So I take these and I put them up in a top cabinet where the kids can't reach. Those are all mine. I'll probably steal these too. And then we've got some other candy for Halloween. We actually have to make goodie bags this year. Um, so we'll put all the candy in these little goodie bags and then put them in a bowl at the end of our driveway for people to get for Halloween. They are doing trick or treating in our neighborhood. So, um, got some minced garlic. I also needed this for, I think the lasagna and the potato casserole. Some more Cocoa Krispies. That's my, that's Kaysen's favorite cereal. I got some OxyClean and some Dawn dish soap. Someone told me to use this combination for cleaning Kaysen's baseball pants. I usually just pressure wash them. Um, and I've also used one of the Naptha Fells, Naptha Fells bars. I usually use that too. And scrub, scrub, scrub. And that usually does a pretty good job. But someone told me to use this and just soak the pants overnight and then use the pressure washer on them and then wash them. So I'm gonna try that this weekend. I think um, we, have a, we have a couple games this weekend, so I might try that. I'll let y'all know if that works or not. Some more Glad Force Flex, Force Flex Plus trash bags, and I always get the ones that are scented. It just makes it a little bit more bearable <laughs> in the kitchen. Some Gatorade Zeros, a mixed pack. And then this isn't really groceries, but I got Gracie June and Kaysen some new underwear. Kaysen loves the boxers, so I got that stuff. I got a red ribbon to go with my Halloween costume. Um, maybe I'll share at the end of this video a picture of us dressed up for Halloween so you can see what that'll be. I also got saw these in the craft section when I was there and just picked them up. I thought they would be fun to make some sort of ornaments or something with them. So, But that is it for our little grocery haul. Y'all let me know if you enjoy seeing these within the cleaning videos and meal plans and stuff like that and I'll continue to share. All right, so now that we have the groceries put up, I'm gonna go ahead and put our barbecue chicken sandwich stuff in the crock pot. The only thing we haven't put up yet is the um, candy because the kids are gonna help me put those in bags later today. But all I need for this is boneless, chinless, bo boneless, chinless, boneless, skinless chicken breast, Worcestershire sauce. Let me know if you know how to say that correctly. I think that's how you say it, Worcestershire sauce. Let me know how you say it. <laughs> um, Olive Garden Italian dressing and then some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna dump this stuff in there and I'll actually link the recipe so you know exactly how much to use of everything. I'll link that in the description box. So as you can see, this meal is so stinking easy. It just cooks itself and this is actually the first time we've done the Olive Garden dressing and it was so good. But we're just gonna put this on a bun later. You can actually put coleslaw on it if you want to. I'm not really a big fan of coleslaw on my barbecue sandwiches, but if you are, you could definitely do that. And then I'm gonna actually cook some fries with it later on in the air fryer right before we serve these up. All right, so the next thing on my list is to tidy up downstairs. So you're gonna see me tidy up the master bedroom, I'm gonna tidy up the living room, and then I'm gonna get started on some laundry. Now, I am just curious, have you guys started decorating for Christmas or do you actually leave your Christmas or your fall decor up throughout November? 
And the reason I ask is because later on in this video, you're gonna see me take down all of my fall and Halloween decor. I'm gonna actually store those and show you how I'm doing it. But we always go out of town for Thanksgiving, so we don't ever host it here or anything. So the last few years, we've started decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving. So that way, when we get back, we can just enjoy it. So I'm just curious to know what you guys do. I know everybody's different, and I think it's so much fun that we all have our own little traditions. So here you're gonna see I'm starting a load of cleaning towels. These were actually ones that Chance used when he was cleaning out a car. So I'm gonna clean those, or uh, start it in the laundry. And then I also have some that are already dry in the dryer that I'm gonna pull out and all of that is going to be more of like our kitchen towels and a few beach towels, things like that. And I've told you guys before, but I like to watch TV while I fold laundry. I feel like it's almost like a reward for actually folding laundry is to watch TV while I'm doing it. So y'all let me know if you have seen any good shows lately. We now have YouTube TV. We turned off our Netflix and I'm really missing a lot of the shows on there. But if you have YouTube TV or something else that you watch, y'all let me know what your favorite shows are right now so I can put it on my list because... The Bachelorette this season is not good. I don't know if you guys are liking it or not, but I am not. <laughs> With us, it's all, or nothing. all right, guys. So I just finished tidying up downstairs and I came up here to the playroom and I knew that it was a mess because we had some friends over the other night. And anytime we have friends over, it gets super messy up here. But I did not expect this, and it is a complete disaster. I'm about to flip you around and show you, but I'm actually a little upset, and I was about to do all of this on my own because it just goes much faster when I'm decluttering if I do it on my own. My kids are really good about getting rid of stuff. They don't have like attachment issues or anything like that with their toys, but I am so upset right now just looking at this playroom and the disaster that it is that I'm actually going to make them do this with me as soon as they get home. So they'll be home in about an hour, but I'm going to quickly show you what this playroom looks like. All right, the lighting in here is horrible because we have one light up there and then the windows open so it looks really bright over there. But y'all, they did this with their friends the other day. Now. This stuff is all my stuff that I put in here because I'm getting ready to start organizing some um, spaces in the house, which I will be filming, but these are all my organizing things that I need to go through. Um, and so I just sat them up there so they weren't downstairs in the office. But they, I brought a trash bag up here. But they have literally pulled out so much stuff, things that they never even play with, things that were already in a box that were ready to get donated. Like all this, all these little books right here, actually those little books were going to go in Gracie June's tub to save for when she has kids one day. Um, but the puzzles and stuff, they were in a box that was ready to be donated. Um, look at this. This is just ridiculous. I brought my, my Diet Dr. Pepper and my phone up, but... Y'all, I cannot believe they did this to this playroom. Now, the couch, since I've shown you guys the playroom the last time, the couch has gotten so much worse. Hold on, I'm going to close the blinds, or the curtains. All right, I should close the curtains so you could see better, but look at this couch. Since the last time I showed you guys, it has gotten so much worse. So it's really, really, really heavy. It's huge. It's going to be really hard to get out of here. But we are about to get this out of here soon. Um, we had this couch cover on it. 
And I showed that in a video, which I don't really like very much. Um, but I am going to end up putting it back on there today just because it at least keeps the all of these things from coming off and getting all over the floor, which you'll be able to see. They're everywhere. These little pieces from the couch are everywhere in here, like all over the floor. Those little spots, those are all from the couch. And they were not there the other day. But it seems like every single time we have friends over, they pull the couch cover off somehow. It does slip very easily, so that's not really their fault. But then they can't help themselves. They, like, peel the couch off, and it gets all over the place. But honestly, I don't remember the last time that this playroom has looked like this. It is so bad. And we're actually getting ready to get rid of all of Kaysen's Nerf guns and Nerf bullets, all that stuff. It looks like they have just pulled everything out, you guys. All right, sorry, I'm a little bit in shock here. <laughs> I did not expect it to be this bad. But as soon as they get home, we are gonna start cleaning this mess and decluttering all of the things. All right, so the kids are home. They're helping me clean up this mess. And honestly, it didn't take us too long to pick up all of this stuff. I kind of put them in charge of different areas. So Gracie June was starting in this little area getting all the puzzle pieces and the blocks and stuff up. And then I told her to go around and find all the toys that she wants to keep and start putting them in the baskets. Now Kaysen's going through all of our Nerf guns and Nerf bullets and all that stuff. We actually gave all those away to a friend. And so he did a really good job helping get through all that stuff. And then I am going around and throwing things away that need to be thrown away. So pieces that are broken or picking up trash off the floor, just different things that are going in my little trash bag. But we did get the playroom cleaned up pretty fast. So I'll show you the results in just a second. So we are done cleaning up in here and I'm actually going to come back up here tomorrow and vacuum because it needs it so bad, but we are running out of time because we have baseball practice this evening and we have to start getting ready. But this is a look at what it looks like with everything at least picked up. Um, all of my stuff is still right here. All of my organizing stuff that I ordered, which I'm going to go through tomorrow too. Um, and then we have some stuff that we're giving away. So that's all the Nerf bullets and guns. Those are the tubs that they were in. We have some stuffed animals to get rid of, some blocks, trash. These little books are all like books that they had when they were little. So I'm going to keep those, but I'm going to store them in the attic. And then we have a lot of stuff that we're about to get rid of. So I'll just kind of take you around. We're going to probably give this little Barbie house away because Gracie June... When she has friends over, they just pull it, all the pieces off and like they end up all over the room, as you saw earlier. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that and get her something a little bit smaller that she can keep in her closet. We're gonna get rid of this little princess piece that she has never played, well, she hasn't played with in years. Um, then we're gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna probably list that on Facebook. And then we definitely are going to get rid of this couch. I'm thinking I might want to get like a sectional in here, but we're going to get rid of this soon. We're going to get rid of those ta the table and chairs over there, the foosball table they never play with. Um, and then we are going to keep the air mats and the tumbling stuff up here because that's where we do it is up here. I also have a few things still to get rid of in there. I'm probably going to get rid of the Legos. And a few more things over there. But I want to redo this entire room. Like, I want to make over this whole room and make it more like a family game room type thing. Because we have the Wii hooked up and then he also has his Nintendo Switch. I figured we could bring our board games and maybe 
do some sort of like built-in looking thing over here on this wall or entertainment center or something and keep the games and everything where all the kids cannot get to them though and then I'm thinking like a sectional maybe and then over here we have our craft table so I was thinking of doing like an arts and crafts area over here maybe put some stools to the table and then organize some arts and crafts in that area maybe do some painting in here or some wallpaper definitely new furniture um, but just make it a look make it look a lot better it will definitely be a while before we do it because we have Christmas coming up and you guys know me when I start a project I feel like it takes me forever to get it done but I will keep you guys updated on it all. If you have any ideas for in here, send them to me. DM me on um, Instagram. Send me some pictures. Send me pictures on Pinterest. I want to see if you guys have any ideas for me of what we could do up here. Because right now I am at a loss. I mean, I'm just kind of coming up with ideas as I tell you guys. But I think it'll be fun to redo this room. And I will take you guys along for the whole process. All right, so once we got back home, I cooked up some chicken nuggets and some fries in the air fryer. It takes hardly any time at all. I just preheat it to 400 for like three minutes, and then I set it on 370 for eight minutes to actually cook up the nuggets and the fries, and we did sweet potato fries for us and regular fries for the kids. They don't really like barbecue chicken, so that is why they got chicken nuggets instead. But doing meals like this on nights that we have things going on makes it so much easier. All right, so it's actually a few days later. I said I was going to come up here the next day and vacuum, but I didn't make it back up there until a few days later, and it was actually the day after Halloween. So instead of ending my to-do list here with vacuuming upstairs, I decided to go ahead and start taking down all the Halloween and fall decor and showing you exactly how I'm going to store all of that stuff. So Halloween is over. We're about to take all these Halloween decorations down and we're going to store them in our Halloween tubs. But I wanted to share with you guys, I got some new containers in, some new Sterilite containers so that I can have clear ones because I really like the clear one that I had for Halloween that I got last year. So I tried to find the exact same one. These are a teeny tiny bit smaller. I couldn't find the exact size that I had last year. So I'm still gonna use that tub, but I also got these. I'm gonna be reorganizing our Halloween and fall decor. Gracie June has already decorated our box <laughs> with Halloween stickers, but I'm gonna be pulling these out and I'm gonna be taking down all of the Halloween decor. And I'm also gonna be doing some Christmas DIYs, going through our Christmas decor and getting ready to decorate. So here I have a few smaller tubs that we've used for years and we actually used to have a lot more of those. But last year I bought this bigger tub and can fit so much more in it. So what I'm doing is going through all of the Halloween and fall decor that I didn't use this year and I'm gonna get rid of that stuff and try to consolidate all of the Halloween stuff into one tub and then hopefully I can fit all my fall stuff into one, maybe two tubs. But this way I don't have a bazillion different tubs for every single season that I'm decorating for. And then in next week's video, I'm actually gonna show you guys my attic. It is a complete disaster right now, but what I'm planning on doing is going through it and pulling out all of my tubs and reorganizing all of the stuff in there so that way when I get ready to decorate for a season, it's not so stressful, I'm not having to pull out a bazillion different things, and it's just easier to find. I'm also gonna be using my Cricut to label the outside of all my new bins. So how it says Halloween and fall on the outside of the old ones, I'm gonna do the exact same thing on my new ones and probably even kind of color code them based on the season. 
But all that will be in next week's video, so make sure to come back next week. I'm also going to share some Christmas DIYs in that video and pull out all my Christmas decor, and hopefully I can even start decorating for that video too. So next week's video will be jam-packed. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep Now, as I started taking this down, I was kind of sad because I think this is probably one of my favorite tablescapes that I've ever done. And so I just thought it was so pretty, but I am excited to decorate for Christmas too, though. So I have these two signs here that I made for fall. And so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna turn both of them around and actually paint the backs and make signs for Christmas because I love how those signs turned out and I love how it looks on this wall. So I'm gonna look up um, like a Bible verse or pick our favorite Christmas Bible verse and probably do that on one of them. And then I'm not really sure for the other, but stay tuned for that. All right, so here is what we have. We have our Halloween tub, and then I have my pumpkin tub, basically. And I really don't think I have much other fall decor except for stuff that's gonna go in the hutch in the kitchen, or in the dining room, and then also a few mugs that are going up in the top of the kitchen. Um, and then this was stuff that we didn't end up using this year. So that was brand new this year. So I might try to sell it. I might just give it away to a friend if I can find somebody who wants it. But I had a really great idea for that, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm definitely not keeping anything that we are not going to use. So um, I'm going to put some labels on these, kind of like how I did this one. I put Halloween. I'm gonna take these and do big letters and put them on the front. So I'm gonna do Halloween and then I'm gonna do fall on this one. All right, now before I end the video, I wanted to share with you guys what the attic looks like right now so you can kind of get a glimpse at what I'm gonna be working on for next week's video. At the beginning of next week's video, I'm gonna be coming in here and pulling this stuff out and organizing it. But you can see I've got tons of florals right here in this little thing, it's not really where it should be it's kind of in the way 
I've got wreaths all over here. We've got paint up here for the house. We've got lots of tubs with things that we probably don't need in them. Christmas decor. Now this is our walk-in attic. We do have an attic up at the top of the house too, but that has mainly like outdoor Christmas decor in there. But you can see we've got just stuff everywhere. So when we come in here to pull out our decor, it's just a mess and it's hard to get to everything. Um, I know you can't see really well back there. So in next week's video, I'll make sure to bring some lights in here so you can see all the tubs that are back there. Um, but we have a lot of Christmas stuff that's just kind of laying out. Look at that. We have Christmas wrapping paper and garland and all kinds of stuff. So this is what I'll be working on for next week's video. So make sure to come back and hang out with me next week. As I go through all of this and organize it, I'll show you exactly what it ends up looking like and how I do it. And then I'm also going to be going through my Christmas decor and showing you guys that stuff. And then hopefully I will be decorating and be done with all my DIYs for Christmas. All right, guys. So I got all the things checked off my to-do list. I added on the takedown fall decor because I got that done too. Checked everything off. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and hopefully it motivated you guys to get some things checked off of your own to-do list. Now I did promise you guys I would show you our Halloween costumes. We dressed up as some of the characters from Sandlot. That's one of Kaysen's favorite movies. And so I was Wendy Peppercorn, Kaysen was Smalls, and Chance was Squints. And then <laughs> Gracie June was just a random cat. She wanted to be a cat for Halloween. We tried to get her to be the dog, but she insisted on being the cat. So that was our Halloween costumes for this year. I hope you guys had an amazing week, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.